Steve Borthwick has become used to contingency planning and he was forced back into that mode again on Monday afternoon, after seeing Marcus Smith limp out of training. England's head coach may have already settled on his selection for the clash with Italy on Saturday, but now a rethink is likely to be required. If one Smith is out, another Smith is surely in. Losing Marcus would clear the way for Northampton's flying Finn to be picked for a test debut. The most logical scenario is that Borthwick will turn to the experience, control and leadership of George Ford at fly half against the Azuri in Rome, providing the sale veteran is fully fit again. He missed two club matches due to a nagging knee problem, had injections in the joint and struggled with soreness when goal-kicking on his comeback against La Rochelle nine days ago. England expect him to be available if needed, which he most certainly is. Ask for an update on his condition, after he appeared to be doing solo running drills at the start of training, attack coach Richard Wigglesworth said, H is fully operational. It was just a bit of knee pain that was affecting his kicking, right at the end. But H has done a load of work with Kev, Sinfield, and H has only missed one all week, so H is fully operational. England's back line stocks have been depleted. If Marcus Smith is ruled out, he would join Manu Tuilagi and Ollie Lawrence on the injury list, although the latter may be back as early as next week. Ben Youngs and Johnny may have retired and Jack Van Portleet is another casualty. But Finn Smith is illuminating the Premiership in the colours of Northampton and the England coaches appear convinced that the 21-year-old is ready to be elevated to Test Rugby, as part of the match day 23. H is a very impressive young man, said Wigglesworth. He has had a really good start and is playing really well. Finn is the sort of character who is very keen to improve. H has got a winning mentality. I really like that H has driven that team forward at Northampton and H has made a big difference. He chucks himself in there in defense, too. Another man who has made a positive impact is Henry Slade, back in camp and set to have a big role again, after being left out of the World Cup squad. The Exeter Centre, 30, has been an inspired club form this season and England's management team have been impressed by his reaction to the World Cup snub. As an experienced international, missing out on a World Cup is going to be disappointing, said Wigglesworth. You can bleat about it, or you can get better and throw yourself into it. H has been superb. I'm delighted H has shown exactly what he can do. Slade has been joined by club mate Emmanuel Faye Wibosso in a revamped squad. The Cardiff-born wing has been a breakout star this season and his decision to pledge allegiance to England rather than Wales has caused angst across the Severn Bridge. It appears that Slade might have played his part in that decision, as he said, after we played Bristol, he was having a chat with me about England, Davith Jenkins was talking to him about Wales and Joe Hawkins got a picture of it.
At some point, it is going to come up on social media but it sounds like I won that discussion. I didn't realize the couple of options he had, but he has been really impressive. Slade is hoping to make a decision about his future in the coming weeks, as he is out of contract in the summer. He added, playing for England is amazing and definitely a big reason to keep me in the country. That's a big part of it. He'll make my decision when I have my options. At the moment I haven't had any offers.